when you have to find the minimum value of a quadratic then the first thing that should come to your mind is completing squares let's complete the square for this one you see 3 is a common factor for the first two terms let's get rid of it so 3 whole x square plus 6x note that we are not taking out common for the last term so I'm writing it outside now x square plus 6x can be completed into a whole square formula by taking the half of this 6 so what do we do we do half of 6 which is 3 it is very clear that okay the square has to be completed by adding the square of 3 so which means instead of not writing x square plus 6x I'll write this as x plus 3 the whole square telling me that I have additionally included the square of 3 inside this bracket and now because I have added this plus 3 square additionally I need to subtract it outside and note that this is all happening inside the bracket that 3 has multiplied and lastly I have minus 20 remaining as it is let's open up the brackets so we have 3 whole x plus 3 the whole square and now note that 3 square is 9 but this negative 9 is getting multiplied by 3 so when it comes out of the bracket I must write it as negative 27 so negative 27 and the lastly negative 20 remains as it is if you look at this 3 times x plus 3 the whole squared you can simplify the two constants together giving you negative 47 so minimum value is minus 47 and the value of x where this minimum occurs is found out by taking the negative or the opposite of what you see in the bracket. So x plus 3, what is the zero of this? x plus 3 will be made zero at x equals to minus 3. So the value of x where this minimum occurs is minus 3.